Is it just Paimon, or is there something weird about those hilly churls over there? Paimon thinks so too. We've seen plenty of hilly churls before, and they're always the bad guys. But this is different. Uh oh, this is right by the Wangshu Inn too. Oh, the guests are in great danger. Now that we've seen it, if we don't do anything about it, Paimon will feel really guilty. <sighs> Let's go take care of them. I can't see. It's no fun. Your life is mine. are more difficult to defeat than the usual kind, too. Hey, seems like people are gathering over there. Ooh, wonder what they're doing. <gasps> Whoa! See that guy in the mask? He he scared off all the hilly trolls. Oh, you mean like Xiao? Now that you mention it, this guy's mask is kind of similar to the one that he wears. But the magic he was using seemed even more adept to see than Xiao's. Shall we go say hi? Ahem. Hello. Allow us to introduce ourselves. This is... Please, if you're here to thank me, there's no need. Cleansing the world of evil is the duty of the Adepti. Think nothing of it. One certainly doesn't. Wait, who are you? One had assumed you were followers, but on closer inspection it seems that we have not met. My name's Paimon, and this is my sidekick. One sees. One too shall introduce oneself, for it is good manners to comply. <clears throat> the one before you is the Adeptus, Master of Stars, Though one is better known to one's followers as Star Snatcher. One descended from one's mountain abode to cleanse the world of evil, whereupon fate saw fit that our paths should cross. Now, tell me that which you wish for. Our wishes? Paimon thought that the Adepti and Leli were just really good in battle. You mean you can grant people's wishes too? <laughs> There are different levels of Adepti. Are not the stars loftier than the mountains, clouds, and moon? Yet, it is unbecoming of an Adepti to boast of one's powers. One would have you first speak to one's followers, and only then make your verdict. Have you seen the Master of Stars in action? His power truly hails from the Divine. I believe that now, there is finally some hope for my ailing father. Watching him use his magic is all the proof you need. A true Adeptus, no doubt about it. Not long ago, I sought some medicine from him on behalf of my ailing father. The difference with Boo Boo Pharmacy's prescriptions was like night and day, I tell you. Once it was boiled and ready, it gave off this really ethereal mist. Seemed pretty adeptal to me. Hmm. Could have also been because there was misflower in it, though. Adepti medicine is surely the most potent. <laughs> My father will recover soon, I just know it. Sure, you have to make some sacrifices if you seek help from an adeptus like the Master of Stars. I had to give a few antiques as offerings. But my father's life is worth much more than a few old relics, right? The Millilith don't really need to do shifts when the Master of Stars is around, do they? Uh, I'm a merchant, and I had an especially valuable batch of goods that needed transporting recently. So I asked the Master of Stars if he would make the journey with me, as presumptuous as that was. Uh, reason being, monsters run a mile as soon as he so much as holds up his talisman. Uh, we didn't have the slightest bit of trouble the whole journey. It didn't come cheap, of course, but then soliciting the services of an Adeptus is a monumental affair. Just look at the Rite of Dissension. So I can accept it, but I doubt that most from outside of Liu would be willing to. Fine. 
Finally, a life full of hope and purpose. Oh, are you believers too? After my fiancé had been left, I cried every day. But then I turned to the Master of Stars for help. At his suggestion, I started burning paintings of my fiancé and casting the ashes into the ocean at sunrise. I can't explain it, but it really worked. <sighs> I know in my heart that he'll return. This is not some sort of positive thinking trick. I'm certain of it. I'm so overjoyed that I gave a portion of my wedding budget to the Master of Stars as an offering. After all, if not for him, I wouldn't be getting my fiancé back, in which case I wouldn't need it anyway. What do you think? One's adherents may exaggerate a little, but they speak from the heart. <laughs> Surely you jest. There was once a senior adeptus, Xie Wu Liang, known to the people as Liangzi. He said this, All things are connected. That which mortals call imagination is merely the bridge betwixt the spiritual and the material. In other words, their wishes are already on the path of transitioning into reality. Does this make things clearer? Uh, nope. It makes them way more complicated. But basically what you're saying is that their wishes can come true, right? Indeed. You are perceptive, my diminutive friend. Okay. Um, so we also have one other question. Oh? You need but ask. One wanders among mortals, doing good and cleansing evil. One reveals not one's visage to avoid further disturbance to this realm than is necessary. Ah, oh, got it. Now then, what are your wishes? Hmm. One senses that a tragic tale lies behind this wish. So be it. This wish is not beyond one's power to grant. But first, one must see some proof of your faith. What's that supposed to mean? The way of the Adepti cannot be grasped from words alone. One must seek the profound truths that lie beyond them. Should you fail to perceive one's hidden meaning, then regrettably, one may lend you no aid. What do we do? Paimon doesn't understand him at all. Oh, that's right! Some of those believers mentioned that they had to pay a pretty sum for the Adeptus' help, didn't they? Well, Paimon's not forking over any Mora, and we don't have anything valuable enough on us. You don't even have a vision! Hey, why don't we make him a tasty snack? No one can resist the temptation of good food, can they? Yep, a tasty snack is sure to work! <laughs> why don't we head over to Wanwen Bookhouse and see if they got any new recipes in? You'd like a copy of Yaksha's The Guardian Adepti? Yes. Here, and keep the change. Oh, aren't you generous? Thank you for your patronage. Hey, isn't that, um, Star Snapper? What a coincidence running into him again! Did you hear the name of the book he just bought? Was it Yaksha's The Guardian Adepti? Uh, well, anyway, it was definitely a book about the Adepti. 
Why would an Adeptus want to buy a book about himself? Really? What's so fishy about him? Huh. That's a good point. None of the other Adepti we've met seemed like they needed anything from anyone. Hmm. Paimon thinks we should check out that book. Maybe we'll find out something about this guy that we can use. Hey there! We'd like a copy of Yaksha's The Guardian Adepti. Do you have one in stock? Huh. Since when did that old chestnut become a bestseller? You're a rare breed of youngster if this is what you like to read. But you should be able to find a copy somewhere on that desk over there. So, are you buying This is the one! Let's see what it's all about, shall we? <sighs> In ancient times, Liyue was a land of misery, where the shadow of evil loomed large. As slain gods festered, their vengeful wrath cursed the world, manifesting in infernal forms. When demons stirred, miasmas, monsters and mutations infested the land. Then Rex Lapis summoned the Yakshas to vanquish the demons. They swore an oath. Restore order through slaughter, purge evil through battle. To this, we dedicate our lives. Eons of bloodshed later, karmic debt weighed upon them, phantom wrath seeping into their broken souls. They went mad with fear, turned on each other, or succumbed to the darkness. Of the five foremost Yakshas, death came to three, while the fourth vanished without a trace. In the millennia since, one conqueror of demons remains the sole surviving Yaksha in the mortal realm. And only on moonlit nights, in the glow from Guyan, and in the sound of the Dihua flute, is his memory preserved. the Yakshas, a group of Adepti who defend Lyue. Hmm, seems like a pretty niche topic. Was there anything that stood out to you? The book says that the wrathful spirits of the gods defeated during the Archon War can sometimes cause plagues, monsters, or mutations. All of which sound pretty horrendous. <gasps> Hey, wait a second! Paimon wonders if... Do you think those super evil hilly trolls we saw earlier were the mutations that the book's talking about? The book says that the Yakshas, after fighting against the wrath of the gods for thousands of years, became bound by karma. Poisoned by the hateful thoughts of the gods, the Yakshas would often descend into indescribable fits of terror, rage, or agony. Oh, it's so tragic. After everything they went through in all of their years of protecting Lile, they got no reward and had to deal with so much suffering instead. So, there used to be five main Yakshas, but supposedly, only one of them is still alive today. Do you think that it could have anything to do with that Star Snatcher guy? Hmm... No, surely not. He doesn't exactly give off the impression that he's been suffering for thousands of years. Yep, Paimon thinks we've already summed up all the key points. So back to the matter at hand. The things we need answers on are 1. Where did those super evil looking hilly trolls come from? And 2. What does Star Snatcher have to do with the Yakshas, right? 
Now to head back to where this all started and commence our investigation. Let's part the fog of mystery that hangs over Dwey and Karst and let the truth shine through in its full glory. <laughs> to be honest, Paimon actually hopes he is a real Adeptus. Uh, his exorcism technique seemed real enough at least. Hmm. But if we get our hopes up, there's further for them to come down. So it makes sense to investigate thoroughly first, just to be sure. Alright, let's head back to Wang Chu Inn! <laughs> Flee at my command, foul demons! Flee! Why... Why won't you flee? Uh-oh! Looks like Star Snatcher's in trouble! And there are innocent bystanders here too! Uh, we have to step in! This is order! Come at the forest! God. Oh, I don't get it. Why didn't the sigil of permission do anything? Has the evil aura of these hilly churls grown in intensity? Sigil of permission, huh? Now why does that sound familiar? Right! It's a keepsake of the Adepti, so it must still contain traces of their power! Oh, no wonder he was able to scare those monsters away earlier! What are you two babbling on about? One is merely underslept, meaning that one's adeptal power is not in full flow. Were one but given another opportunity... Well, as it happens, there goes another bunch of evil hilly churls over there. Should we leave them to you, then? I, uh, uh, one suddenly feels ill at ease. Surely one has overexpended one's adeptal powers. Otherwise, one would surely purge these infernal beings at once. <sighs> so you were just bragging after all. We were right to be suspicious. <sighs> Come on, Traveler. Looks like it's up to us. Use your elemental sight and hunt them down. <laughs> Again. No wonder. Paimo was just wondering who could have made such short work of these hilly churls. Let's see what a real Adeptus has to say about all this. It's you. I remember you. I was purging some living beings that had been tainted by the demonic. It would appear that I have caused you some trouble. Huh? He isn't usually this polite. What's going on? But you are exercising demons! How is that causing trouble? That is because the changes that occurred in these monsters stem from me. Or more precisely, from the karma I have accumulated. Mutations? Karma? Oh, <gasps> Does that mean... Yeah! Paimon remembers that Xiao is also called the Vigilant Yaksha, isn't he? So... So that means... Oh... Mm, poor Xiao! <laughs> I see. 
You must mean that piece of literati fan fiction from a few hundred years ago. <laughs> All things are impermanent, and to exist is to suffer. We Yakshas have no need of sympathy or tears. My comrades who have passed on would see your tears as a stain upon their legacy. Oh, uh, I'm unsorry. It matters not. In any case, I am on my way to purge a cavern of demonic influence, so we shall part ways here. Wait! Take us with you! We'll be a big help! Paimon promises! No need. I am used to fighting alone. And in any case, these mutations originated from me to begin with. Well then... Oh! Consider it Paimon's parents for being accidentally rude just now! Please? Well, I... Uh, come on then. Um... So, Xiao, you've been suffering from the bad karma all this time? Suffering is my price to pay for eons of endless slaughter. I have come to accept this. But in recent years, other living things have suffered when the burden should be mine alone to bear. I must reflect on this. Finish your preparations, and we shall enter. We should not leave those monsters be for too long. I will use the ritual known as the Bane of All Evil to relieve this place of its karma. You must remain calm. Do not allow yourself to be affected by the lingering wrath of bygone gods. Evil conquering! Adeptus by such a name. So he is a fraud! Well, we'll continue this discussion later. You should focus on your battle for now. Morphless! Useless! 
Useless. <laughs> 